everyone. Thank you. Welcome to the Tonight Show, everybody. Thank you. Oh, good. Uh, it's going to be fun tonight. Uh, here's what everyone's talking about. This weekend was the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, which featured several speakers, including Sarah Palin and uh, also Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good weekend for conservatives, a great weekend for wild animals. They're like, they're, both, they're all in one place. Let's have a party. They're all in one building. Woo! It's safe. It's safe. During the conference, uh, Rand Paul told the crowd that it was time for a new president and that people need to help make the change. Of course, most people agree with him since that's how term limits work. They're like, yeah, the, the president can't run again. Yeah, we do it. We got it. Let's focus on something else. Uh, and RNC uh, chairman, uh, Reince Priebus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reince Priebus criticized Joe Biden, saying that he can't control his mouth. <laughs> kind of like someone trying to say the name Ryan's Priebus. <laughs> Ryan's Priebus. Sounds like a drunk person saying rented Prius. <laughs> I'm running to the Priebus now, man. I'm running to the Priebus. It's pretty good. It drives pretty well. <laughs> Ryan's Priebus said he took a shot at Biden, said he can't control his mouth, and Biden was like, that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I did it again. I, I, I know, I can't. Why do I keep doing this? Why? <laughs> He can't control it. President Obama is heading to South Carolina this week, which means that he will have visited 48 states as president, leaving only South Dakota and Utah remaining. Isn't that cool? And now South Dakota and Utah are competing to see if we can get the president to visit their state next by releasing a series of tourism slogans targeted just at him. <laughs> Take a look at these. First one says, South Dakota, come be our black person. And then there's, uh, that I can't work. And then Utah released this slogan. Utah, Vegas is just a six-hour drive. It's like, it's not that close. No. Then South Dakota released this slogan. South Dakota, we will carve your face in Mount Rushmore right now. I mean, it looks like his head. Utah countered with this one. Utah, Ryan Gosling visited here once. Wait, sorry, that was Montana Dam. Uh, still, he's a good-looking guy, and everyone likes him, yeah. And finally, South Dakota released this slogan. South Dakota, the tropical Dakota. There you go. <laughs> I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> Yesterday, Kanye West revealed on Twitter that his upcoming album will be named So Help Me God. <laughs> or as Kanye calls it, Self Help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this is just weird. A man in New York got a ticket this week for driving in the carpool lane with a piece of wood with a hoodie over it <laughs> in the passenger seat. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. No, no, no. But I don't even think he felt too sorry about it. Listen to this guy. He was starting a new job and needed to get to work on time. Turns out... I've been using it for months. In fact, Campbell drove back to his Suffolk County home after work with the dummy still buckled in. He says he does not plan on riding solo anytime soon. Instead... Oh, I got to sit down in the basement. It's, it was, on special occasions, I bring her out. She wears a gym <laughs> toy. We'll just take your word for it, buddy. <laughs> Somebody tells me he's got a real person in the basement, yeah. too. Yeah. Take 